Hello, another day, another vlog. It is about 9.30. Woke up at nine, laid in bed, said, fuck this, and then finally got out of bed. Um, and can I just say, why is it that when most girls wear a bun in their hair, they look cute and flirty, but yet when I do it, I look like Miss Trunchbull from fucking Matilda. Uh, no, it is gorgeous outside right now. And the sun is shining. It's like still incredibly freezing. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. We're coming at you live, people. We'll just forget about that. Just rewind your brains for like 30 seconds. Uh, what do I have to do today? We have to... I have to clean my makeup brushes. I know that's like, oh, you could do that like any time. But you don't understand. I like literally just slack on it. So I have to do that. I want to clean the house before Sugar Bear comes home from work. And then I have to go get a pedicure. I don't have to. I'm choosing to go get a pedicure. I have to go get my mom a birthday present because her birthday's tomorrow. And I'm a horrible daughter. Uh, I didn't forget. I just haven't had time to go do that. Uh, and then we're going to Sugar Bear's parents to help them hook up a smart box or like the Android box because they just got one and they're technically challenged like most parents are. Uh, so we're going to do that. So I thought I would bring you along and it's just such a beautiful day outside. I'm so happy. We've had like no sun so it's been so hard to like want to do anything and everyone's been very lethargic. Also, uh, I have been obsessed. So I mean like there isn't like that big of deal that I haven't want to left like leave my house because I have been obsessed with this TV show. <laughs> okay. We got a smart box like last month. So we're going to like get rid of cable because there's no point. And this thing is amazing. You can literally watch any fucking TV show of existence. Do you remember? And on the only kids who are going to remember this are the like 90s kids. Um, Temptation Island. It came out in the like early 2000s. It's about people who go to like an island resort and they have to like switch off partners like like boyfriends girlfriends for a day I don't know I used to be obsessed with it when I was a teenager not a teenager I'm gonna say a preteen because I wasn't that, I'm not that old um but if you remember it and bug juice do you remember bug juice doesn't come in a jar bug juice don't care who you are that one was a jam of mine when I was in the 90s about kids going to summer camp, Ghost Rider. Like, I have been literally going down memory lane for the past week. And it, I've fallen down the rabbit hole. Uh, so I'm going to make breakfast. I'll show you what I'm making. And I'll check in with you in a bit. Alrighty, so this is what I'm having for breakfast. It's a wrap with a little bit of sausage, some scrambled eggs, cheddar cheese, and a sriracha. Ja. A little salt and pepper too. And then I'm gonna have a big glass of water. I'll check in soon though. I did it. I cleaned my brushes. They're a little damp. I wish, okay, can someone just give me a life hack so that they can stand up like that? I mean, I, I've seen the tricks where you like tie it with a, a band, a, like on a pole or something, but this is the only one that can stand up right. Oh, cool, cool. Wait, Seri seriously, there we go. Uh, wash them in my kitchen sink. Tried to get this off. Don't know. I think it's bronzer, like liquid bronzer, and I cannot get it off to save the life of me. But I used this thing, and I got it for literally like $2 off Amazon. Amazing. It scrubbed the brushes in so much color, came off down the drain, and then just to wash my brushes. I usually would use baby 
like Johnson and Johnson baby shampoo, but this time around I used this Dawn Ultra and it worked so much better. And I just thought too, because it would cut some of the grease from my liquid makeup. So that's what I used um, for the like soap, but I'm just so worried that the water is going to get trapped in the head of it and then cause it to uh, like have bacteria. And I don't really care about like my shitty brushes, like this one, my e.l.f. one, even though my e.l.f. ones are really great. But like my ones from like Tarte and Benefit, or not Benefit, um, you know what I mean. What is this? You know what I mean. Starts with a B. Um, I like I don't want them to get gross. But that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing with my day. Uh, and I'll check in after. I'm going to wash my face, put on some makeup. Now I don't really know how I'm going to do that. I really did not think that through. Wow. Yeah, no, I didn't think that through at all. Um, I'm going to try to put on some makeup and I'll check in in a bit. toot my own horn but I decided to put my thinking cap on and look what I did I rigged it <laughs> moldy brushes zero me one yep I decided to not be dumb and hopefully it stays like this if I back away slowly don't shake the floor it should work it should. But now I don't know what to do because I didn't put makeup on before I use these because I'm an idiot. <laughs> no judge. But yeah, hopefully that works and all the water drains out. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. So I'm sitting here waiting for Sugar Bear to, um, oh, it's snowing outside. There's a giant bay window right here. So this is like where I sit every day. I sit here. I can look out um, into my bay window. Clearly, I'm not going to show you because you would see my neighborhood and you'd see um, my street. So that's just, you know, safety first. Uh, but no, I'm sitting here waiting for Sugar Bear to get out of the shower. He just got home from work, put on a little makeup, noticed that I had this little heathen. He just popped up to say hi. And uh, I'm not doing my hair. His parents can take me as is. His parents are amazing. I mean, my mom's amazing, but his parents are amazing. There are these like old timey hippies. I mean, his mom went to Woodstock. Like that's like actual Woodstock and like they're just such amazing people I love them so much um and like they're just oh uh, uh, I love them so we're gonna go there and they always request the most random food ever they live in like a little fisherman's town and so there's a really great uh place to get fish and chips and so they want french fries from there not the fish just french fries because his dad's making us food his dad's a chef too by the way which is kind of cool um so we're going there and so I decided to do my eyebrows because god knows I need a little help um but I'm gonna get a pedicure hopefully this weather just stops because we have to drive like a good half an hour to get to his place um but the scenery is beautiful oh my god so I thought though I would talk real quick about something that I've had a couple comments on and honestly the comments have never been mean um just general like what are those and there was actually one person that did ask if I would stop wearing tank tops and if I would wear uh t-shirts and honestly honestly I know that that comment was not made um to be mean like they I think what it is is a lot of people don't know what these are on my shoulders so they 
are kind of weirded out by it. And she was, she wasn't being malicious. She just said like, you know, could you maybe wear a t-shirt? And I think once she sent that message, she knew that that's probably not, uh, she shouldn't have done it. Like I, and I wasn't mad cause whatever I've grown up with these. I, I'm, I'm here. I've heard it all. But I thought I would come on here, do a little Fat Girl's Diary insight, just for those who watch my vlogs. Um, and hopefully, if you are someone who has to deal with this too, you know kind of what I'm going through. And maybe you could also kind of spread the awareness and just make people realize that it's a part of life. It's a part of being bigger um, and not even being bigger because there's people out there with stretch marks all over their bodies uh, that have nothing to do with weight, it has to do with how they were blessed or maybe cursed or just whatever, how they grew when they were in an adolescent. And that's exactly what had happened with me. Um, oh my God, it was coming down out there. Uh, my mom, my grandmother, my aunts, cousins, everyone. We've all been, I don't know if this would be a curse or a blessing, but we were born with big boobies in our future. And we've all had big boobies. Um, I've had aunts who actually had breast reduction surgery just because, like, they're big. And my boobs have always been big. And I started to develop uh, when I was in the fourth grade. So if you can only imagine, um, there was myself and one other girl who had boobs in grade four and that is a very young time to be developing when boys are just like what are those and you're having to be forced to wear a bra when other girls aren't even going to develop for another like three or four years so I woke up with stretch marks one day in middle school because that's when shit got real down in the chest area and my stretch marks are on my shoulders because when my breast developed, it literally pulled my shoulders down um, because of the weight and my shoulders didn't have enough time to really like form the skin to, to be pulled down. So of course that's how you get stretch marks. And for whatever reason, most people get stretch marks in their thighs their breasts, their stomachs, and not a lot of people get them on your shoulders. So growing up, I mean, I've been asked if they were scratches, cat scratches, if they were some form of like skin irritation, and no, the answer is plain and simple, they're stretch marks. And trust me, I have gone through my fair share of very, very insecure moments. I mean, obviously, when you're in high school and you're at prom, you want to wear a strapless dress, just like all your other friends. And uh, I was the only one ever to have stretch marks on my shoulders. And so, I mean, like, I didn't want them. I did everything under the book. I mean, I self-tanned. I would tan in the summer that just, I thought to my mind, you know, you tan and acne goes away, you tan and scars fade. No, when you tan, your stretch marks burn and that just makes it worse, but you can't learn until you do. So, I mean, I've done it all, bio oil, coconut oil, nothing seems to work. So I have gone through my fair share of insecure moments where like, you just have to deal with it. At my own wedding, I had a strapless wedding dress. And I put cover-up all over my shoulders. I mean, that was thankfully to Rue for jumping on me to get on the top of the couch the other day. But I have just learned to accept them. Sugar Bear doesn't even notice them. I don't think anyone who truly cares about me notices them. And I just want you to realize that if you have stretch marks anywhere on your body, you can have stretch marks on your arms, legs everywhere and I just want you to realize that that's just who you are that's a part of who you are and unfortunately they don't really ever go away like they might fade but that's just one thing you're gonna have to learn to live with and you're gonna have to learn to love them because they're gonna be a part of you for the rest of your life so to those who are kind of like oh wearing a tank top eh it's fucking hot in my house uh 
Sugar Bear likes it at an ungodly tropical temperature. So Mama is going to wear a tank top because I sweat when it's a fucking blizzard outside. So if I'm wearing a tank top and you notice these, just realize that uh, I was attacked by a shark and that's why I have them. No, just realize that I'm a human being who has skin issues just like the rest of us and uh, that hopefully you don't get grossed out by them. Okay, but seriously, Rue, what a little shit. He jumped up on the couch. He used me as a step stool because he's a dick and his little nail clawed me. Isn't that right? He's sitting in the lazy boy over there. My dogs, I swear, are better treated than most human beings. Honestly, honestly, I treat my dogs better than I treat most people. And... They they need to get, you know, their lives in check because they are just treated way too well. But I'm going to go. I'm going to get dressed. I'm actually going to put on clothes. And I am going to go get my nails done. What color should I get? I have a really, really beautiful sparkle on my toes right now. Kind of reminds me of like a mermaid. Um, but I think I might want to go with a pastel for spring. I'm going to check in though. Hopefully this blizzard stops. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. I'm taking a picture because it's so pretty. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty. It's a really pretty stuff. Together. You've earned 125 coins. Woo! Can't keep my hands to myself. I mean, I could, but why would I want to? So I'm just sitting in here waiting for Sugar Bear to get the french fries. I feel like that's all I talked about in this damn vlog is french fries. That was, that's all I've talked about. Um, what can we talk about? Well, we wait because it's going to be a hot minute. <laughs> I looked at my back seat to literally see if there was anything in there worthy of showing. Um, what should we talk about? What okay, I, I'm going to talk about my favorite YouTubers lately. Um... I said, I'm going to talk about this in my monthly favorites too, so hopefully it doesn't become annoying, but these are just some of the people that I have literally been obsessed with um, since January. Uh, I have been obsessed with, her name is Michelle. I want to say it's Michelle. It's so funny because she always says her husband's name and her kids' names, but she never says her name. I believe it's Michelle. But her YouTube channel is H Kitty Vlogs. I'm going to put it all down below. Um, she's probably going to think I'm like a big weirdo. She has no clue who I am. She doesn't... I'm 100% positive. She does not see my videos. I stumbled across her video because I was like in this weird mood lately to like watch grocery hauls. It's weird. So I just typed in grocery haul and she had like the biggest grocery haul of all time. So I was intrigued. So I watched it. I became obsessed, watched all of our grocery hauls and then was like, Oh, she actually belongs too. So I just been like working my way up. Okay. This is why I'm obsessed with her channel. She is a, a mom, like she's a mom and she has three kids her husband, I, I feel like I've talked about this and I've talked about, I know I have, but she's just so down to earth. She's such a real person. She has like two jobs. Her husband works and all of her vlogs are literally like her just juggling three kids, two jobs, her husband having to work as well, maintaining a house. Um, I think she does like Etsy orders as well and doing YouTube videos. So she's just like someone to just like turn your brain off and watch. And she's just such a real person. You know that when she shows something in a video that she's using or that she loves, it's like legit. It's not, oh, I'm getting paid this. So let's talk about it in a vlog. Like she literally is talking about stuff that she loves to use. And she's just, I don't know, like I, I like watching vlogs, 
But I don't necessarily like watching huge YouTuber vlogs because you most of the time, I'm not going to say all of the time, but most of the time it's like really like the same stuff. Like they go to a big award show or they go to a big fancy schmancy party. They go to these really incredibly expensive restaurants. And after a while, it's like the exact same thing. And and then it makes you like, oh, well, how can I relate to that? Because I'm, I'm not going to all these big fancy restaurants or I'm not showing my freaking multi-million dollar house. Like, I like watching YouTubers who are real people, who have real lives, who just happen to do maybe YouTube for a little bit of extra money on the side or to do it because they love it. And I'm less prone to watching YouTubers vlogs who are like making a lot of money off their off their videos because I don't know it just doesn't seem as genuine you know what I mean and I, I mean don't get me wrong I love big youtubers I've got a whole list that I watch all the time who are some of the biggest youtubers on YouTube but as far as vlogs go I would much rather watch someone who just is living life and they just happen to videotape it and hers like I feel that if she were to watch this video right now, she'd be like, okay, we need a restraining order because I've just been so obsessed with her videos. I feel like I know her. I feel like I know her family. I feel like we're friends and she has no clue who I am. So yeah, oh, on the creepy side. But uh, that's what I like in a, in a YouTuber. I like watching someone who I'm like, wow, I could like go to coffee with them and it would be fine because they, they're just like real people. Uh, or like if you were to see them on the streets and like, hey, how's it going? Like, they just feel like someone I would know. You know what I mean? And like, I'm just hoping that that's how my YouTube videos come across. Like, I... I'm, this is me, like this, like pimple and all, like this is who I am. Uh, and I, I hope that what I show is like interesting or at least like watchable because this whole YouTubing vlog thing is still such a foreign concept. And it's so, it's so weird. It weirds me out, but moving along. So she is definitely like my all time favorite right now. Um, and I've also been obsessed <laughs> with, horror channels and like you like story horror channels where they read like crazy stories and some of them are like paranormal some of them are about killers so I mean don't don't listen to those if you're by yourself and you get freaked out easily I don't if you've been around my channel for a long time you know that I love all things horror I'm a like like Halloween is my jam ghosts, goblins, ghouls, witches, vampires, like I believe in it all. And this channel that I'm obsessed with, uh, The Corpse Husband, Mr. Nightmare, Lazy Masquerade, and B Busta, I personally think have the best voices, which make the stories way, way better. Because if you get someone who's like reading the stories and they just sound like shit like that's all you can hear so those personally are my favorite horror channels but they do they talk about like five horrifying tinder date stories or like I was stalked by a killer like those are the things that I love listening to and believe it or not I listen to it when I'm doing the dishes or cooking so all through the month of December all through the month of January, I was listening to all of them to the point where, like, I had to move on to other YouTubers because I had, like, no stories left to listen to because I would listen to it in the car. I would listen to it doing dishes. It, like, and I mean, if anyone were to walk in who didn't know me, they'd be like, what the frig is wrong with that chick? But I'm just, I'm so obsessed with it. I they, they, they creep me out. They're so scary, but I can't get enough of it. And then speaking of big YouTubers, I mean, we all watch him, I'm sure. But the videos that I love most about this particular YouTuber are the ones that he does very seldomly. And that's Shane Dawson. Like, I mean, we all watch Shane, I'm sure. But I personally love when he does the like Illuminati, the creepy, all the creepy videos that he does. Those are what I am obsessed with. Um, oh, oh, the French fries are here. 
But that's who I'm obsessed with. I love his videos that when he talks about like the Illuminati, ghosts, I'm talking about Shane Dawson. He doesn't watch them. He doesn't like them. I love them. But I mean, I like his other stuff too, but that's what I like the most. But these are the French fries. Look at all that grease just seeping through. Now it makes me just want fucking fish as well. All right. Well, I'm going to go. Bye. Look at how beautiful you are. This doesn't even do justice. She's so tiny. She's so tiny. Yes, you are. You are such a beautiful. Such a beautiful girl. Look at you. Look at you. She literally fits in your hand. She's looking at me though like, what are you doing?